Greetings, fellow whiskey-loving earthlings. Big Al here, transmitting from the deepest, darkest nether regions of Northern Ireland at the foot of the Mourne Mountains, and more specifically, right here in the Whiskey Strait Speakeasy. I trust this period of isolation finds you well and safe. I'm good. It's not having any effect on me at all. None. None whatsoever. I'm handling it very well. And if there is anyone or anything else out there tuning in, nano nano, live long and prosper, and damn it, just welcome. Take me to your leader. Well, folks, welcome once again to the Whiskey Street Den, or for the purposes of this episode, it's been transformed into the Whiskey Street Speakeasy. So, what is that? Well, it's just basically a place to hang out, have a bit of crack, have some banter among like-minded whiskey enthusiasts. Basically, just like sitting in the pub with your mates, having a good hour yarn. We're living in crazy times at the moment with this worldwide pandemic, but at least we can get together in this virtual forum, uh, take our minds off things for a while and provide each other with a bit of support. And, naturally of course, enjoy a few drams in the process. Slotcha. Anyway folks, I just want to start off by saying thanks to you guys, uh, and that's for your fantastic support and your input uh, during my recent Edredor series. I had a great time making the videos. That whiskey that Edredor produces is just fantastic. And it was even greater for me to see the response, so thanks again, it meant a lot to me. And don't forget to check out Edredor, great distillery, producing a great product. So as I chat to you guys, I'm going to be sipping on this here 14 year old single malt from Method and Madness. Uh, it's an expression that has been matured in bourbon barrels and then finished off in the limousine oak casks from France. And it really is an interesting pour, something a wee bit different, and it's bottled at that nice sweet spot of 46%. So, as I say, it is a wee bit different, a wee bit of a twist in there, as, well, that's what Method and Madness is all about. But, like anything that comes out of the Middleton Distillery in Cork, it's well worth a try. So, how are you guys coping in these unprecedented times? Well, I reckon I'm coping pretty admirably as a substitute teacher uh, to my eight-year-old daughter and I am enjoying the constant company of my wife who is working from home. Life is bliss. Ah! Just can't do this anymore! No! Dad, are you so silly? You're not cut out to be a teacher. You're just a dummy, darling. You're just a dummy, darling. You're just a dummy, darling. Oh boy. Nope, we're back. Sorry. Yep. Seriously though, my ill health issues, it's really good that the wife is able to stay at home. Uh, and although this home schooling malarkey, uh, while giving me a wee bit more time with the toots is somewhat challenging uh, for an old dinosaur like me but I suppose I can't really deny that I am enjoying having them about well particularly the toots the wife too but shh don't tell her now earlier I was talking about the support element of whiskey tube and just getting together and on that note last Saturday night I was on my first live stream thanks to an impromptu late night lockdown, so to speak, by Chris of The Last Drop. The sneaky hallion that he is, and let me tell you why. Well, you see, I reckon he timed it just about right, and a certain knowledge that some of us might have had a few, you know what I mean? And sure enough, like the big bollocks I am, I took the bait. It was damn good fun though. Uh, Andrew from Prestige, uh, Liquids Down Under, 
joined in for a wee while and then Neil from Whiskey Trials was on there too and there was great crack from those in the chat as well but I can tell you one thing it's a really good job it didn't go on any longer than it did because quite a few cask strength pours were downed and big owls thick and slow legs here were starting to wobble well from what I can remember that is that's it the great night's cracked and I'm looking forward to more in due course uh, I think it'll help to keep us all sane well perhaps not totally sane but a wee bit less crazy if you catch me drift another part of the idea behind the speakeasy here was just to let you guys know a wee bit more about me as well now for those of you who have watched quite a few of my video reviews you can see that many of them do appear to be a wee bit breathless sometimes more than others now, it's not a sign that oh I'm reviewing a great whiskey and I'm all excited and I just can't get the words out it's actually because I am breathless and that's why you always see me wearing this uh, medical alert bracelet and the awareness band up above here as well now the reason for that is I suffer from a rare disease called sarcoidosis uh, which affects my lungs probably the old ticker here as well but it hasn't been diagnosed there yet because I've been going through several tests and actually because of this pandemic that's going on at the moment a scan that probably would have told me one way or the other this week has been postponed indefinitely so I'll just have to wait for a wee while longer but what can you do? Now what is sarcoidosis? Chances are most of you have never really heard of it uh, because it is pretty rare. I know that was the case with me when I was diagnosed. So without getting into any sort of technical terms, sarcoidosis is essentially a dysfunction of the immune system that leads the body to attacking itself. For some unknown reason, the body's immune system just goes into overdrive, causing inflamed cells to group together to form little lumps called granulomas and they stop whatever organ they're in working properly and I can tell you it's a real bugger of a thing it's extremely debilitating with some awful awful symptoms for me it's particularly extreme breathlessness and just last year I was put on ambulatory oxygen and I find that I've been using it uh, on an ever increasing basis uh, but at least it does help when I need it I also suffer from chronic fatigue and daily nausea which is a bit crabby it basically affects every aspect of my life and has stopped me doing things that I used to take for granted uh, so that's basically why I wear this medical alert bracelet because I want a lot of medication for it and some of them don't really work too well with other medications uh, and it's also because I'm steroid dependent I can't go for even one day without my daily dose of those lovely little bastard drugs <clears throat> anyway I'll not go too much into that uh, so because I'm in a high risk category I've already gone into lockdown a week before the government over here imposed it uh, because I just don't want to take any chances I've had some nasty, nasty infections because this all weakens your immune system and the drugs you use to try to counter it further weaken the immune system. So the worst time was a few years back when I developed severe pneumonia and sepsis both at the same time. Oh boy, do I like to do things right and I sure as hell don't want to go through that again. Thankfully, it was an ambulance pretty close by for the emergency call. And my body started to shut down and a quick blue light run down the road and an early intervention well basically made sure I'm still here today now the the awareness band here is from a charity called Sarcoidosis UK uh, and they've been a great support to me since diagnosis and they have been with thousands of other sufferers as well I'm chairman of the charities Northern Ireland support group and that's has been great for bringing people together here because it's a very lonely and 
what's called an invisible disease a lot and it helps us to support each other on the camaraderie that we've gained through that uh, has been vital to sufferers here on a local level so I like to raise awareness uh, of the charity and the condition whenever I can so when people come up to me and ask what is the band I'm able to do just that so in the midst of this global pandemic whatever your thoughts are on it please folks stay safe and take the necessary advice and precautions seriously and if you're thinking of not taking the advice and you're not really worried about it step back for a second and think about others that you may in fact so on that note just please be sensible stay at home keep the health workers safe and save lives and in doing that you could also be helping to save the likes of this dodgy old codger here let me hang around for a wee while longer to make more videos and gain a few more subscribers. Earlier I mentioned Chris from the last drop reviews and part of my reasoning for doing this big easy thing was also to share the whiskey love. So check him out and give him a sub. He does really great reviews. He's a funny lad too, he really is. And at his end of the month run throughs of the samples he's been having a wee tipple at the drama are really cracking good watch as well oh yep and he makes a damn fine pulled pork too i'll include that along with the rest of the information in the relevant links down below with that said folks thanks for tuning in and thanks for your ongoing support keep moving forward in your whiskey journey stay strong stay safe and keep on supporting each other i raise my glass to you all for your good health at this trying and difficult time. So may the friendships uh, forged through this wonderful spirit here always shine upon us. Keep us together, keep us going and as always keep on drinking your whiskey the way you like it. So it's over and out but not down from me. Or rather, I'm not really. <laughs>